Okay, I'm Robert, VK7VZ, and um, we'll just uh, quickly run you through the setup here. Today it's about checking the third order stuff after a very basic uh, MFJ filter. And um, we've got the DX World um, available from eBay for $161. Um, dual MRF 300 in push pull. Um, you've got an A and a B, as you can see there. The B is about uh, $77 from Element 14, and the A is about 68 roughly, last time I checked. And um, so, you know, if you talk about uh, 161 and about 140 for the bits, um, it does make a, a relatively cost-effective 600-watt uh, board. After the filter, you'll easily make your 500 watts. So this is a good Australian legal limit board with a little bit of headroom. Okay, so I'll just run through. We've got a voltage meter there. Uh, we better turn this on. Look at the current meter here. Uh, we've got the scope. I'll just uh, clear that. Okay, we've got the scope there. Um, the amplifier is running into the low pass filter. Uh, somewhere here, there we go. We've got the clean RF sample box. It's a adjustable minus 55 dB tap out. Uh, into the MFJ watt meter. Uh, I have put this up against the bird. It shows me exactly what the bird shows me. The reason I'm using this today is because it holds the last key up power. So um, we've got that. Now we do have the um, Enritsu. There is a uh, 20 dB attenuator up there and I have it set for um, uh, auto attenuation. Uh, auto RBW, auto VBW. So um, I will clear this one from the last one. Okay, so uh, we'll just give it a key up. What are we at? Resting temperature is uh, 32.8. And what I've got going on here, the, the relay on this temperature board, this is a Chinese cheap thing, about 10 bucks. Uh, this relay once activated, once it reaches the alarm temp, which I think I've got it set for 45 degrees, it goes over and pulls um, this board to ground, turning it off. Um, if you ground the centre pin, that actually shuts down the current protect. Um, I've got current protect set up for about uh, 19 amps. and uh, uh, Basically the bias is set to 200 milliamps each um, when it's cold. And I have tweaked um, the bias independent, looking at the spectrum analyzer uh, to remove that last bits of uh, second order stuff. A trick I found um, on uh, November 4, Golf Echo, I think it is, uh, AGE, I think. Um, he shows that you can clean up the second order stuff when you've got two devices in push-pull by just varying the bias. Anyway, enough talking, uh, we're on 53. We'll uh, key up. Okay, so we've got uh, the waveform there. It's looking pretty good. And uh, we'll leave that keyed up. We'll do a sample on the spectrum analyzer. There we go. We'll key that out. And um, as you can see on the, the spectrum analyzer, um, we're at minus 19.5 dBm on the primary. Third order stuff is at minus 53.82. And uh, then we go to the fifth at minus 57 and the seventh at minus 71. But you can see there, there's absolutely no second order product. And of course, this is uh, after the um, Ameritron uh, ARF1000 uh, filter. Um, I bought that to run with the solid state girl because uh, I think it was landed here for just under 300 bucks. And um, we'll give this another key up. Okay, so we've got 521 watts after the filter, and uh, that goes down to a, a dummy load. So, um, as you can see by the, uh, the waveform on the scope, we'll just uh, hold that. There we go. Key this back out. Um, we got a nice clean linear uh, waveform and uh, bear in mind um, 
we are pushing this device uh, to about 640, 647 watts for two of them. So we are at the top edge and um, look, it's still nice and linear. Uh, this is at an efficiency rating above 76%. So um, I've had a lot of uh, ham say that it's just not possible. I've seen this as high as 80% efficient as you go up towards 10 meters. Um, but anyway, that was it for today, just to show how clean the waveform is. Um, I don't get it that nice out of uh, the other ones, that's for sure. And um, of course, it's all going into a, a 10 dB attenuator. So um, yeah, anyway, there it is. Uh, I did do some testing um, without the filter and I, I tried to leave the scope into uh, the, the hold mode while I change the setup and put the filter in and uh, unfortunately it uh, I don't know I bumped a button or something and it cleared it <laughs> but I do have a photograph of it um, and we were at minus 18 for the third um, without any of the, the MRF filtering involved so minus 18 dB for the third uh, well over 40 for the fifth and um, uh, I think in the high 60s for the seventh and there was very little second order stuff because I did play with the bias to um, to drop the second order down to almost zero but uh, you know this this amplifiers in push pull we wouldn't expect to see much second order stuff um, but anyway there we go it's uh, I could recommend this uh, from DX Wealth no problems at all uh, Dimitri if you if you get this video Thank you very much, mate. Um, you do an excellent job. And um, unlike the Australian board I bought, your board's been trouble free from the very start. It has been absolutely wonderful to work with. Uh, it was just a matter of um, mounting it down to the copper plate, uh, lifting the two MRFs off the, the Australian board, putting them onto yours, soldering them in, and just a little bit of uh, silicon paste on the backside. And, um, I've been doing quite a bit of testing here prior to the video and I think the highest I've seen this is about 38 degrees and uh, it is not much of a heat sink it's only for quick testing but uh, it turns out I can actually run this for quite some time I've just got a, a small fan blowing some air underneath it but anyway um, Dimitri thank you very much uh, DX World you can find him on eBay um, I need another one of your boards, Dimitri, another one of these to fill this space up here. I'll be in touch with you soon. Anyway, this is Robert, VK7VZ, and uh, thanks for watching.